TechTrack Distributed is different from other trackers. Through our dynamic design, we've created a lighter, stiffer structure. So by pulling the torque out of multiple points along the array, uh, we reduce the amount of metal that we need while still accomplishing the same goal of uh, holding up over a long time. Installation has been a primary focus in the design of the Tech Track Distributed. Uh, there are a number of items. Uh, first and foremost, the self-powered drive with wireless communication. We've eliminated the need for any kind of field wiring, either for communication or for power. Uh, we've given the tracker industry-leading terrain following, uh, not just uh, steep slopes, but also change in grade from post to post. So if there's rolling terrain, the tracker is able to uh, flex with the site, minimizing the grading and the, and the preparation required. Uh, as far as assembly of the components, the components, the bearings come pre-assembled set onto the posts very simply and actually form a cradle for the tubes to, to drop in. So all throughout the process we've been thinking about how do we actually build this track or how do we make it simple for the people who are going to be putting it in the field. Uh, O&M is simplified greatly by having standardized components for the tracker. Uh, so it's, it's a bit like having a system with Lego blocks associated with it. If, if you can uh, provide multiple configurations for any kind of site with those same blocks, then it's possible to have those blocks in inventory. It's impossible to uh, replace any ones that need to be replaced. Uh, the other thing that we've done is uh, recognizing that distributed trackers, just by their nature, have uh, you know 20 to 50 times more electrical, electromechanical components than a centralized tracker. And knowing that we built out the Vertex system to be intelligent about uh, diagnosing any issues even before they start uh, and minimizing the number of truck rolls that need to go out on the site.